So we opened up that plaster jacket and there were the bones exactly as Phil Orr had removed them. We located an expert in radiocarbon dating ancient bone and that was Dr. Thomas Stafford. I sent him the sample and a little while later Tom called me and he says, you know, I'm going to be in California, can I come up and see you? And so we sat in the office and Tom sat down with us and he said, you have the oldest dated human skeletal remains in North America. And, uh, and our, our jaws kind of dropped. Lo and behold, these bones were at least 13,000 years old. And that's really significant because that's the same age as Clovis. And Clovis is basically, or was thought for a long time, to be the first American culture. So we went ahead and, and did a, a paper based on that and presented it at the California Island Symposium. And then it got national attention. But it's kind of odd to have a Clovis age skeleton on the Channel Islands when most people at that time didn't think that seafaring or island colonization or coastal adaptations existed in the New World until much later. At the time, the idea was that there was an ice-free corridor in the center of North America that led people down this sort of funnel-shaped tunnel from Alaska into the center of North America and that people only gradually spread to the coast over the ensuing millennia. And it just opens up all sorts of uh, alternative possibilities and understanding of how the entire continent was colonized. It was an ecologist who came up with the idea of the kelp highway. All the way from Japan to Baja California there are kelp forest ecosystems that have very similar suites of animals. They have the same shellfish, the same fish, sea otters, this connects with the whole idea of a coastal migration, an ancient coastal migration where people would have been using watercraft and going around glaciers when they encountered them and working their way down until they came to California. People showed up on this island 13,000 years ago or thereabouts and evolved through time and through the group we know as the Chumash. Ah, what does it all mean? <laughs> it's, it's the history of our species, you know. We're, we're, we're studying human behavior at different time periods and the different challenges that human beings faced in the past, different environmental conditions, how they responded to those conditions, how they changed their culture through time. It just gives us a greater understanding of our own human behavior, of our own species, you know, by studying what occurred in the, in the ancient past. I get the feeling that we've just barely begun to scratch the surface. We're just digging in, beginning to learn what to look for. I personally feel the next frontier lies offshore in the parts of this island that have been submerged. So there's a lot out here, and I think we're just getting started.